Guys, welcome to another FIFA 22 Icon Player Review. And today, guys, we'll be checking out one of the new icons to this game, the 87-rated Ekat Casillas. Almost seems fitting to kind of review him on uh, on, on Champions League night. And uh, it will just be the only review for today. Uh, back in now uh, with work and stuff like that, so I don't have quite as much time to do the reviews. And also Liverpool playing in the Champions League tonight as well against Porto. So just a warm review for tonight. And um, But I've pretty much reviewed all the goal cards that I want to kind of review now in this game. So it's going to be focused now on doing the icon reviews, the team of the week reviews, and then also the Forte Hero cards, which come out, I think, this Friday. So um, we checked out one of the cheaper icons yesterday in Ryan Giggs. I've also done two kind of expensive-ish icons and Socrates and Garinka as well. All the icons I've really, really enjoyed so far. And it's the same to do with this Casillas card. The reason I went with a goalkeeper, usually I don't review goalkeepers, but so far what I've seen in this game is goalkeepers seem to be programmed so much better that it actually might be worth your while spending more on goalkeepers this year. Um, because I think they'll actually make a difference to your team. And I think that this Casillas card was very, very good. He provided a fantastic kick there to Mbappe and was unlucky not to go on and get an assist. And, and, and for me, kicking was certainly one of his big positives to the card. He's got 80 kicking. It was very, very good. You know, he often was able to, you know, to um, once he's ever made a save or just got position of the ball, but he could often make a kick and he could often find you know, my attacking players or midfield players. So I was very, very impressed by that. I thought his reflexes, his ability to be able to make, you know, saves from close range, as well as long range was very, very good. His diving in general, again, was also really, really nice. Uh, positioning not too bad either. Um, he was a really good card, I have to be honest. But at the same time, value for coins, I probably put it 7 out of 10. I think, obviously, you know, he does have that aura. He's been one of the best goalkeepers in, in the past, what, 20 years of, of football. Uh, I think we can all agree on that. And obviously, that's kind of why, you know, he, he does have, have that. As far as goalkeepers go for an 87 rate, that kind of higher price tag. And obviously, for the fact he's a new goalkeeper. But at the same time, if he didn't quite have that amount of coins, like a De Stegen or an Allison, that's a lot more cheaper, under 100,000 coins, Points would probably be not far off his level, but if you have got more coins sitting around lying in the club, he is a pretty cool card to go for. And I think, go, uh, you know, he compared to last year, I think a card like him represents a lot more better value for money. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.